All right, we got a quick hitter, but it's one that's pretty dense in terms of its ramifications in other places. A thin, uniform donut carrying charge Q and mass M rotates about its axis as shown in the diagram. A. Find the ratio of its magnetic dipole moment to its angular momentum. This is called the gyromagnetic ratio or the magnetomechanical ratio. B. What is a gyromagnetic ratio for a uniform spinning sphere? C. According to quantum mechanics, the angular momentum of a spinning electron is one half h bar, where h bar is Planck's constant. What then is the electron's magnetic dipole moment in terms of a dot m squared? All right, let's go look at the diagram real quick. We indeed see a donut spinning around its axis. We'll just call that the z-axis for this. All right, fair enough. So the solution from m equal i a, here i is the current, a is the vector area, l equal i omega, which is the um, the uh, rotational inertia times the rotational velocity, uh, moment of inertia, not current. And that we can simplify through that that's equal to mvr z hat. All right, so if we take the ratio, which is what we want, we see that the current is Q divided by the time of revolution, which is 2 pi divided by omega. The vector area is pi r squared, z hat. And we see that uh, we have mass big M and radius big R. So we have capital M, V, capital R, z hat. Uh, we see we get a lot of cancellations in the next step. Um, the omegas cancel, the r squares cancel, the pi's cancel, leaving us with q over 2m. So we say that m is equal to q over 2m l, and the gyromagnetic ratio is g equal q over 2m. Okay, this shows this is unique because in part b we see that g is independent of r. So the same ratio applies to all these donuts. And hence the entire sphere, which are made up of different uh, different sized donuts stacked on one another, for or for any other figure of revolution, is equal to g uh, is equal to q over two m. That's pretty cool collection right there. Um, and c this scenario is known as the uh, Bohr magneton which is proclaiming to be one of the best achievements in quantum electrodynamics, blows my mind that that's what it is. But seeing all the work that they had to do to get there makes it make sense to me. So we have uh, M, e M being the uh, dipole equals E over 2M, which is the mass of the electron. So I'm just poor writing here. Uh, times H bar over 2, simplify that through, plug in the constants. And we get that the dipole is equal to 4.61 times 10 to the negative 24 am squared. This is fascinating because the magnitude negative 24 is absurd to try to consider. Uh, I'm always fascinated with this work.